release the bucket? Will it hit my head? Let's see. Aha! Gravitational potential energy is the energy when something is at a height, like this box for instance. This box is on a shelf and has 10 newtons of GPE, gravitational potential energy. Kinetic energy is movement energy, anything that is moving like the skateboarder. The two energies are linked. Let's look at this roller coaster. At the start of the roller coaster, the roller coaster car is on the ground. It has no gravitational potential energy. It's not moving, therefore it has no kinetic energy. But as the roller coaster begins to move up, at its highest point, it has its maximum GPE. But it also has no kinetic energy, as it's not moving. As the roller coaster descends down the fastest slope, GP energy is directly transferred to kinetic energy and the car speeds up. As it moves down, its GPE energy decreases. At the bottom of the slope, we have maximum kinetic energy because it's moving at the fastest speed, but no gravitational potential energy. And the same thing continues. As it goes up the slope, gravitational potential energy increases but kinetic energy decreases. In this situation, we assume that there's no air resistance, so that all energy is directly transferred from GPE to KE. But in real life, energy is lost. It's dissipated to the surroundings. In this case, as the roller coaster descends down the track, there's friction between the wheels of the car and the roller coaster track. Therefore, energy is transferred as heat and a sound. Therefore all the gravitational potential energy is not directly transferred to kinetic energy. There are two equations you need to be able to use. There are two equations you need to be able to use. The first one is to calculate GPE. GPE is mass times gravitational field strength which on earth is usually 10 unless the examiner gives you a different number times the height. Kinetic energy is half or 0 0.5 times mass times velocity squared. In this situation, always calculate your velocity squared first, then times by mass and times by 0 0.5. Remember, both energies are measured in joules.